Okay, <laughs> fantasy basketball. Fantasy basketball from the D League. So there is. I would a... be Zach Dawson. <laughs> yeah, I really would be. I would be Zach Dawson. <laughs> All right. So I've also worked out we can do a live intro now because the music. I worked it. I suggested. Yeah, yeah. It. yeah. So, so this is this is. I want to. I want to be these fucking production credits. I thought of all this shit. Yeah, but you you didn't do anything. You're not touching the ones I'm and the twos. I'm the fucking brains of the outfit. You're not touching. You're executive producer. You're not producer. Ah, oh, I can touch knobs. <laughs> you love touching knobs. Executive producer. That's fine. I don't care what the credit is. Yeah. All right. So now we can just do this and fade it down, and Todd can start a show. Oh yeah. Oh, we starting now. Yeah, we can start now. All right. Let's start now. Right. Let's do it. All right. Hello, everyone out there. Welcome to episode three of Forty Nine Shades of Grey. We've made it, fellas. We're up to episode three. We've got the stats up for the first uh, first episode. It is and pretty sweet. We've got we've gone global. We, we should probably tell everyone who we are first, eh? Oh, we have. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Uh, my <laughs> name is Todd Gray. <laughs> I'm to my left, outstanding, swanky, <laughs> and I'm Betty Macker. How you going, guys? And as I said, we've gone global, guys. We've got a worldwide now. America, Canada, um, New Zealand, and Argentina. 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 <laughs> Argentina. <laughs> so why why are you listening to art from us, from Argentina? No, no let's not ask why. Said. Let's um, if if you're from Argentina, get onto either the Facebook page or the uh, the Twitter account. Tell us who you are and uh, and yeah, and say hi. Yes, because and why? Hi and why? Yeah, <laughs> no, no, why? Not, what are you not doing? In that order either. Yeah, I don't care why you're listening to us. As long as you, as long as you are listening to us, that's the main thing. <laughs> All right. So, uh, real quick, guys, uh, what's new in the last week? Anyone? Uh, have you guys been down to the fringe yet? Anyone done a fringe night? Yeah, I went down on Friday night and uh, went and saw a couple of different shows. Any went, good? Uh, no. <laughs> no. Uh, I went and saw um, Flacco. You know. Oh, uh, yeah, from, yeah. Um, used to be on like, Good News Week and all yes. that. The little Doug Anthony. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, it was called The Funny Thing About Science or something, or What's Funny About Science or something like that, right? Um, it started off all right. The first 10 minutes were pretty good, and then he kind of just stood behind a laptop and did science-related puns for the whole time, and it uh. kind of tanked a little bit. The funniest thing was he knew he was tanking, and he had like a lectern there, and every now and then he would like duck down behind the lectern and would like pay himself out because he knew that his jokes were crashing and mm. those bits were like the funniest the funny bits bit of the show. Uh, where was it? What was the crowd like? It was called, it was at the Science Exchange, which was kind of like a lecture theatre sort of place. So they were all like nerdy science people there. Like, right. The crowd was a bit weird. But that's what I, really I mean, like. I can't really talk because I'm kind of a nerdy science dude too. But. Fair enough. That's, that's what I like about the Fringe. Like every building in Adelaide virtually becomes a venue. Yeah, like yeah. That, that um, there's a laundromat on Hindley Street down the um far far left end, and I know if, before I left the year before, there was like that was a venue. There was about four shows actually happening in the laundromat, and they virtually just re kind of rejig the script a little bit. So instead of happening in like a club or a bar or like at someone's house, the whole all the whole show took place at a um laundromat for like they made that the actual set. That's pretty sweet, Thanks, buddy. <laughs> That's going to do it anyway. Swanks, you been down and seen anything? No, I try to stay away from any festival related to hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a, that was yeah. a very bad but also very good joke oh, yeah, yeah. I like that one no, actually, I, haven't, I haven't been this year I don't think I went l- last year either the last time I went I saw which was about two years ago now probably One Man Star Wars oh yeah I saw, I, I saw him when he came I've seen many him many years now. ago yeah. yeah I've seen him twice now and it was brilliant both times he I loved it lost it he does One Man Lord of the Rings now as yep well. he does a lot of One Man shows and yeah I haven't seen Lord of the Rings I want to pitch One Man Twilight to him Oh, really? <laughs> no. <laughs> Does he what? do One Man... Sex? Breaking Bad. One Man Breaking Bad. Oh, Breaking Bad, Bad would oh, be awesome. that'd be good, yeah. yeah. I would watch the shit out of that. Yeah, that, 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 have guy, you seen, that guy's pretty just, funny. Just on Breaking Bad, have you seen Better Call Saul? Yeah, I have not. I have not seen a single it is, episode. It is way too good. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, it, it kind of makes you think, why is he doing a spin-off instead of just, like, a different show because it is fucking awesome. Well, I think it's probably obviously loved that character in the first place. Was yeah, yeah. But the first two episodes of Better Call Saul are better than the first two episodes of Breaking Bad by a long way. Okay, yeah, yeah. but I guess this, the character character is already established. We did we don't know who they were when Breaking Bad started. Yeah, but it kind of goes back to an origin. Yeah, like it you, it gives him a whole backstory that he. Never I haven't had, I haven't watched it yet, but I, I mean yeah. I plan to. I really want to watch it, but it's I'm also how far I'm, are they how far are they in? Sorry, to there's on. only that's only two episodes, maybe three. But yeah, and that's only, why I've I don't only watched watch it. First. I'm a I'm a binge TV watcher, and I don't want to uh, watch that one episode and I then do- go. Damn it! I want to see the next one now. I just go, no, bugger it! I'll just leave it and I'll wait till there's 
10 or 12 episodes or a whole season. I'm, I'm the same. I just wait. It's like, yeah, wait for the season to come out. Bang. I'm the yep. same like Walk, yeah. Walking Dead and everything like that. Of course, that. then again, I'll start then watching the first episode at, say, 10 o'clock at night and by 5 or 6 in the morning going, I really should be going to sleep yeah. now, but I want to watch... I've got work in the morning. One yeah. more episode. One I more should episode. Be, I should be at work. <laughs> but yeah, it's really good. Uh, Mike, like the, you know, the hard ass. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, he's like a, um, a car park attendant <laughs> and... Uh, is he a security guard in it? The uh, the real big Huel. No, yeah. I haven't haven't seen him yet, but I'm sure he'll rock up. Because that's the only you know that's the only uh, plot point that they didn't tie up in Breaking Bad. Was that, was in, you know you know right at the end at the of the show where they go to that stage. spoilers. Oh, it's, uh, yeah. well, it's, not, it's not really spoilers. <laughs> no, we haven't watched. Have you got a spoiler Bad alert? Yet. No, sure. I should find one. That'd be really cool. Um, right at the end, they go to like a safe house. And Huel's there waiting with all the money. And then everything else happens at the end of Breaking Bad, which I won't spoil for people. But they never go back to Huel. And he's waiting for people to come That's back. That's right. Yeah, yeah. And he's they just never sitting come there. back. So he, he is... That's a good point. Yeah. Very, what does he do? This very moment, he's sitting there waiting for them to come back, and they never do. That'd be, well, that would be interesting. Yeah. That could be something they could revisit later on Probably in Better Call Saul. I think it's like six years in the past or something. Mm-hmm. So it's quite a long way before Breaking Bad starts. In the future? No, no. In the past. Before Breaking Bad starts. Yeah, this is a pretty yeah, cool That would make it the future, wouldn't it? Oh, the past. It's a Damn pre- it. It's a- <laughs> and that's how time works. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. My bad. Fuck. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> No, I haven't uh, seen it. I'm going to wait for the whole first season to come it's out. It's worth watching. I'll get all over it like a carbon and after that, yeah. 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 No, it's good. Sweet, sweet. Well, I've been, I, um, I had one night down at the Fringe. I um, saw a couple of my friends do stand-up and all that. Um, uh, Angus Hodge. I went to Comedy Next Gen, which is virtually they do it every year. A whole bunch of, um, well, up-and-coming comedians, about yeah. six or eight, they all get together. They share this. They share the same stage. Always at the Rhino Room. It's out in the beer garden this year. And they will do, you know, five, ten minute spot, and then they have the legend on as well. And um, all my friends, uh, the Golden Fung, they're a live sketch comedy cr- crew. Yeah. They've been doing it for about four or five years. They're down at this new, um, they're down at this new uh, like venue, the Channel Nine Studios. They're in the Kevin Crease. Really? Oh, really? Uh, on Two Street. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, that's <laughs> really cool. Apparently, it's only its second year. It's a really good venue. That's the Fringe gets bigger and bigger every year. Like that's yeah. just it's just everywhere. So now it's got out to North Adelaide, and, and it's a cool little. It's a very cool little venue, and it's a it's a great show. But it is, it is bizarre. It's I don't want to I don't want to compare them to like well I don't want to say Monty Python S, but it's like that randomness where you're like I'm yeah. enjoying this. I don't know why. Are we yeah, catching brilliant. you at the fringe at any time this year? Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get back from Europe in time to like get involved in an actual fringe show itself. I'm doing a few stand up gigs um, at, at clubs and that which are happening during the fringe. I'm doing one next Tuesday down at the um, Crown and Anchor. So uh, you'd be able to, because um, when people actually hear this show, that would have happened last week. So how was the show? How'd it go? Uh, <laughs> not too bad, actually. About an 8 out of 10, you know, there was a, there was one guy to the left who just wouldn't shut the fuck up the entire gig. That'll be me! <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and, so, and some bitch who just had too much down the back. But uh, that, Crown and Hank is a cool little venue, but it's the only place I've ever done stand-up where I've seen someone throw up on the bar and get served. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's that, it's, it is actually a really cool place, but because it's... It's kind of a it's a well, it's a pub first, but has comedy there. You will kind of get people who go there for the comedy, and other people who kind of walk into the room at the back. What going, the fuck is this guy? Out 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 here, here, eh? oh, yeah. Back in you facts, yeah. Yeah. And I'd be like, shut up, mum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's uh, there's just um, something that draws my attention here. You know, we probably should go to the fridge shortly, but um, I think it'd be a cool thing. For this show is that every time we record this show you're in your um in your donkey's basketball oh, <laughs> shirt. Was it Tuesday we play down I play basketball just around the corner from here, right by Benny Mackers. Um so yeah, normally after the game, come here, po- you know, post match pod I'm oh, sorry, pre match yeah, mate, post match, I was right in the first place. Yeah. So, um, um, you've yeah, got post- your history, you know, your past and future mixed up. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah you the, the yeah. Daryl school of time travel. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> um no, I wanna know I wanna know how you guys went this evening. Did you win? No, the uh, the winning streak comes to an end. We were six and oh, we got rolled, we lost by I think at nine points and they yeah, were a nice enough team, but they had one douchey player. I don't know his name, but that's that guy who's all He's, I swear, in a social game, he did like the cam at me, bro, a few times yeah. on the court. And you're just like, <laughs> like, well, the only nice thing I have to say about that guy, he's 
Probably HIV negative. That's, that's <laughs> so did he like uh, you know, just block someone and be like, get off my court? No, no but he, someone, one of our players did get blocked and the guy who blocked him didn't react, but he did. He, he, he came so over and he, was like, yeah, get that out of here. And I'm like, you, no, you don't have the right. You don't you have the right. can't trash talk if you weren't the one that actually. <laughs> yeah. So when I play sport, it probably means that it's probably me, right? But ev- on every team that I play against, there's usually at least one dude on that team that I hate yeah, and I usually clash with in some way and if if there's a team where I haven't found a guy it's just because I haven't played those guys enough enough you give it time yeah, so there's always it, your least favourite you yeah. get looking for them I mean it, it clearly it's probably because I'm a dick on the sports field I mean that's pretty much the uh it has to you're be. You're a cricketer mostly. Is that is that your main sport? Cricket, cricket or tennis? Uh, ten- as well? yeah. Tennis and cricket. Yeah. We but... played once. You smashed me. Uh, I can't remember the score, but I know it wasn't it wasn't nice. Oh yeah, that was ages ago. Yeah, that right? was back in the day. Yeah. I have not improved. <laughs> but yeah, like I I do get a little bit of white line fever, especially in cricket. Tennis, I'm alright, but I think cricket's it's it's good because you kind of like it. It's an individual thing when you're bowling just against the batter. Yeah. Are you so, so you're a bowler? Yeah. Right. And so I do. <laughs> yeah, it's <yeah, he's> like <laughs> eight string. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But I do get a bit angry sometimes. Um, yeah, but... even though I shouldn't. But you know, what do you do? <laughs> What's the biggest dummy spit you've ever had on the? Uh, can you anyone biggest dummy spit you've ever had in any kind of game? No, I will. I don't um, spit a dummy. I haven't played sport competitively for a few years now. So I'll tell a story now, but I'm I'm not really proud of this, but. When I'm back in under 17s footy, I used to, like, once again, had at least one person on the team that I used to fight with on every team. And it was mostly because we, you know, playing for Freeling, we used to get smashed every week. So, and I was slow and I used to be a fullback. So I'd get kicked, six kicked on me every single yeah. week. So usually what you'd end up doing is just kind of like starting a fight because that was more fun. But I remember at one guy and... I wasn't terrible. Like I played in the under fifteen association team, and I knew that there was another guy from that played Tananda that was also on that association team, but I knew that he didn't play the week before because he had a back issue. And then we came up and played him, and I started being like, "Oh, how's your back? How's your back?" And giving him like little, the old nudge, yeah, yeah, giving yeah. him like little Ooh. jabs in his back and stuff. And then. What are you, are you oh, no, I'm just waking it up. You keep telling okay. the story. Right, you right, worry. Sorry. EA That's Sports thing. Ready. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so I, I kept doing this, just trying to get him off the game. EA Sports. <laughs> it's in the game. And uh, I did it again, and I did it a little bit too hard. And he went down like a sack of shit and had like... Uh, like back spasms and all this sort of shit. Ooh. I had to get stretched. Oh, wow. I, I've honestly never felt... How old? How old? Were you? This was 16, maybe. Ooh. I've honestly... he's never walked since, actually. No, nah, he... <laughs> nah, he was fine. He played the next week and stuff, but he... I've I've never honestly felt so bad in my life, and I think I've toned it down a fair bit since then. But, <laughs> yeah. So, this is heaps funny story, guys. Let's let's like not talk about me. Yeah. <laughs> well, my mine wasn't so much a dummy spit as it was just a moment where yeah, I just felt r- just so bad. The whole team did at the time. Um, I used to before I went to Europe, I played down at the um, down in uh, North North Adelaide as well, down at a complex there for a team uh, called the Panthers. And uh, we were we were a pretty good decent team. We won like the B grade Premiership a couple of times, but we were playing this um, bottom side, right? We've beaten about four or five times during the season. Anyway, they all come there and they all got black armbands on, and um, and they like they had about thirty or forty other people all came. They did a speech pre pre match. Um, one of the old teammates, unfortunately, not the funny part, got in a car accident, passed away. It was a tragic. Long story short, we beat these guys by about seventy points in a social game, and I remember hitting a three like on the buzzer beat a three. And I've just turned around. I've just been like, yes, yeah. <laughs> and then I just see like everyone, you know, everyone kind of like, you know, down holding like the the their armbands and all that. And I've just went, oh, I look like an absolute <laughs> prick. So I do have another story from one. Uh, it was my brother's mate, uh, Brooksy. Shout out to Brooksy. He won't listen to this, but anyway, yeah, uh, he. Vintage. I remember him telling <laughs> uh, Brooksy. <laughs> This is pretty funny. Actually. I remember him telling a story about he was coaching like underage basketball and the other team runs out and this young lad's got a hat on and he just goes up and like, that kid can't wear a hat. It's against the rules to wear a hat. And they're like, oh, that kid's got cancer. 
Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Except that kid. That kid can wear a hat. Yeah. Yeah. Here's my hat. I have two hats. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Someone get this kid another hat. <laughs> so, yeah, I think he was allowed to wear a hat from that point on. That's fair enough. Fair enough. I don't think I've ever had anything like that because I'm fairly non confrontational. You kind of stew. Mm, you, it might be you like afterwards the, and then I'll, I'll be pout, like I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'm like about yeah. it afterwards I'll be like fuck that you know I'm like yeah I don't my breath up. you're like hmm I'm going to get him back next time <laughs> I do I'm working out revenge more than anything yeah. <laughs> yeah. which one's his car yeah. yes <laughs> <laughs> yeah but he wouldn't key his car he'd just like kick let the it, car tyre <laughs> he you. might let his tyre down to like just a tiny bit of air out. 28. Yeah. Uh, you should be able to have one for 30. That'll show you. You'll drift slightly to the left. That 2 PSI. You've got to piss him off so much. <laughs> That'll teach him. <laughs> Shouldn't say that. I was going to go to a mate the other night because he was too drunk to drive and he wouldn't <laughs> he decide he was going to get in his car and drive. I went, nah, not with the flat tyre. You know? <laughs> well, I was fumbling to get the keys in the ignition and I was in the front of his car. Shh. <laughs> And then he, and then of, he drove home. He with started the to drive, and he went, "This doesn't feel right." He's like, "Ah, oh, son of a bitch!" I knew. And then he started blaming my mate's driveway because um, his tire went flat. He said, "You've always got screws in this drive. <laughs> in this driveway, run over another screw." Next morning, he was okay. Then we just changed his tire right. for him and got him out of there. But nice, yeah. what a guy. Well, what's the um? Whatever. What's the, what's what's. What's your best prank you've ever pulled on someone? Is there a prank like a story you love telling? This is good. Like, I, oh, yeah. um, um, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start. Go first. I got in a bit of a prank wall, basketball um, teammate again, but this is going back about seven <laughs> seven years ago or something like that. It all started, he did the old uh, DP on the inside of my basketball shorts. And yeah. I've never, I, I got, I remember about two or three minutes in the game, obviously I sweat, I sweat when I go to check the mail. I am not in good shape. Uh, started to sweat a bit and obviously start to feel a bit of the old, the old heat down there. I remember getting the ball and I literally threw it out of bounds, called time out and just ran to the bathroom. <laughs> I, um, I got him back about two weeks later at a house party where um, I just stole his car keys, popped his bonnet, and I just pissed in his window washers. <laughs> like, oh, that's, wow. so, that's like a slogan. Wow. I didn't tell him one, but I, 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 to this day, I hope, I hope when he was just driving back, he had the window down, just turns him on a bit, and he's just like, oh, what? Is this coolant leak or something into there? <laughs> Um, so you never told him that you did it? Oh, about a month later. Yeah. And I just talked out of giggles. And then he um, oh, <laughs> he, he, he got me back. Not Nothing too flash, but he just got me in the old Jats crackers a few times in, during a game. And then I took it too far. Um, about a, a month or so later, he because uh, like, like I said, I watch a lot of cartoons and download a lot of stuff. A 27-year-old really shouldn't watch. Um, he's like, you got you cartoons and all that. He's got two kids, a uh, four and seven or something at the age. Like, can you chuck on some? Can you? And I had like... He, he wanted to no, you, kind of no, you didn't. He's like, can you chuck on some cartoons on the on my flash drive? I went, yeah, no problem. Just gave it to him. Anyway, I ended up putting on like the file said like Dora the Explorer, and all that. <laughs> That's what but like going. Dora the Explorer is actually the human centipede. Oh, oh <laughs> um, no! I think uh, what was it? The, the Wiggles were uh, the horror movie Hatchet. I don't know if you said it's an awful movie, but it's like proper like proper gore and you stuff like that. You weren't expecting these kids to watch them, is that right? Or you just... Oh no, I had full intention of it and it worked out perfectly. <laughs> Apparently what happened is the seven-year-old, bit of a tech head, just went, put the old flash drive in and went, oh, let's watch some, I don't know, some, some anime I put on, let's watch some bleach, chuck it on and up pops like two girls one cup. <laughs> but that, uh, uh, that's what I'm saying. Or you, the you Aino Explorer. The, were you expecting <laughs> the kids to watch them or were you expecting him to watch them? Uh, I, was, I was happy either way, to be honest. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but that was when he, like, that, was, that, that put the end to the what well, he just came out he's like not cool not fucking cool like, seriously, I'm just like you know what in hindsight yeah I yeah, probably not I fucked up there I'm, I'm sorry yeah. but look like, at least you don't, have, you don't have to have to talk with them now I mean they already know about the whole mouth to anus thing and everything like that I mean yeah I bet they never go for rides with strangers yeah. if they're interested the sequel's coming out next year if they're interested actually oh, no. and I think Human Centipede 3 is a thing I think that's actually I a haven't thing seen now. the first one and no, I, I have no information this, the that. first the first one this, I, I don't know how I come, I'm trying to say something nice about a movie which is well, everyone knows what it's about. The first one, pretty creepy, actually, not not awful. Second one, no, just just to, just made for shock value. Second yeah. one is just absolutely just appealing. No, but the I first one, you're just like this. Is I'll watch up. pretty much anything 
I'm not watching that. But like, that's a, someone someone wrote that. Someone wrote someone that thought, script, and then someone said, "I'm going to make millions well, of this." This is the biggest thing that I have with um, with horror movies and the people that write horror movies. I'm glad that the guy that wrote Human Centipede went, "This would be a great movie idea," as opposed to, you know what? This would just be a great idea. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's what the second the second one, the so, sequel. That's what it's about. Do you know what? Even worse. There is some fucking people in Hollywood or whatever sitting there going, "This script's amazing. I'm going to spend money, <laughs> money to it. make this." Is it shit. Someone wrote that. Someone pitched it. Someone funded it. People auditioned for it. People, like, <laughs> people watched it. Gu- guilty, and, and you're just like, "This." So what? is like the the person at the front of the line is that that's like the best one, right? That's the way. Yeah, that would mean if you're drawing straws, that would want to be like that's, that's where you're, you're like, like, "I'm running, I'm running good." This is like, like, yes, right. just got cast as number <laughs> one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But uh, it's 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 there's, there's no real winner there. So that's like the goat question. That would be like <laughs> you, can go right and you, you can't be like good. I'm um, number one. Great. So it's, you know, so I'm on. This is all good. <laughs> What's well, sauerkraut? Let's get that in. <laughs> you know, uh, that, I'm with you though, and that's the the same thing that comes to that makes me think of TV commercials too. Uh, you know, we always have like the Super Bowl comes on, and there's all these amazing TV commercials that people that don't even like football or American football or gridiron or whatever you want to call it will tune in just to watch the commercial yeah. commercials. Where normally it's like commercial comes on, oh, time for a piss, time to get a drink, time to do whatever. You know, n- no one really watches commercials. All of a sudden, now you've got this big sporting event where people watch it specifically for commercials. Then you've got people that love sports that are going, best of both worlds, got this great game, plus I've got mm. these commercials. What? Why is it that throughout the rest of the year, you have all these really boring um, TV commercials out there? Griffin, the pod dog, snoring his head snoring off. Snoring his head off. You have all these TV commercials out there that are as right, boring yeah. as batshit. How do they? If I why don't a, they just do? Why don't they just do the good ones every time? Well, yeah. Who, who is the person that at, at XYZ company that rocks up to the ad agency and says, "Listen, we want to sell our product. Make us an advert." Then, then. ABC advert company comes back to XYZ factory and says, here's the advert for you. And it's as boring as batshit. And they go, yeah, yeah, that'll do. That's good. There's, there's, here's, here's $50 million. Yeah. The, here's all you. the money for it. The yeah. best ones are the ones where the owner and his family are clearly the, like, or the, like the, there's like a, um, an ad that's like carports and shit. It's like, SA quality home improvement. Oh, that, that the lyrical genius, whoever wrote that <laughs> so song. It's it's pretty clear like he's the main dude and it's just this whole family that are in this fucking thing. Yeah. Like, well, I not, want a commercial. All, what do you have? I got seventy three dollars. Let's I'm not make good. this happen. They're not all his family. One of one of them's my ex girlfriend. <laughs> Oh really? Yeah. Are, you, are you dead set? Are you, are you dead set serious? <laughs> yeah, I'm dead set serious. Oh wow. So where am I right in assuming that they're mostly My, most, they're they're mostly his family and his staff <laughs> members? Well, do you know anyone in the uh, in the in, in the paint supplies commercial or anything like that as well? She used to work for him. Every time it's like eleven o'clock at night and that ends, and I'm just like, oh, really? <laughs> Wow. I'm using the term girlfriend very loosely. And, uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. It was the a girl one way. that got away. No, she's a, girl <laughs> away. <laughs> she's a star now. No, no. Do a you girl. know who I am? I wonder if she's ever used that. A girl I used to visit, let's put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> As opposed to a girlfriend. But at the same time, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> but I, do, I do remember oh. telling uh, uh, an ex-girlfriend about that. So every time the TV would come on, she'd go, hurry. Happy girlfriends on TV. Like, oh, <laughs> tape myself. it, just tape it. Uh, Put it the rest. <laughs> so, yeah, brilliant. Yeah. That's brilliant. So, uh, what other what, what pranks have you guys pulled on people? Because I saw you have a cheeky giggle. When I... Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> I, I got two, and they both revolve around the same place. When I was in um, when I was in the army, and I was doing uh, some full time service, we used to have uh, there was only about six um, full time. Um, army personnel on this base it was an army reserve unit and when um nobody was there there was only six full-time people there during the day one of those people was uh was our adjutant and he would be generally off doing things all the time uh, yeah I'll, <laughs> he would be gone and he had he was his office would be locked the only person that would have the key would to that office would be myself and one other person um because i would have to go in his office to get some things out and, and replace them he had it's really old um if and benny can back me up with the kind of building that he kind of works in being a defense building an old old building yeah these these buildings are 
super old. They date, date back to the 40s and the and the 50s. And the carpet in our building probably dated back as, as much as that as well. And it was a fairly thick piled carpet. So when the edge went away, one of um, our guys in our training cell came in one morning with, um, he was gone for two weeks, he came back in with a box of uh, lawn seed. And we just got this, we, he just got this lawn seed and just spread it all out throughout the edges carpet and really push it right into the pile. And then just came back every day with a little watering can. <laughs> <laughs> and just, just slowly, just every night, just in the morning, a quick little rinse, just keep the, the, the carpet down. That's, de- that's a dedicated <laughs> And then, Oh yeah, for two weeks, it was great. He came back. So from, how long um, was the, how was long gone, was the guy away for? The edge was gone for either, anywhere up to from two weeks to three weeks, he'd be gone away, yeah. you know, conference this, conference that. Um, then he came back to his office needing to be mowed. <laughs> a good so inch true. and a half of grass had grown <laughs> right across the carpet of his office. Oh, that's awesome. It was a brilliant prank, but yeah. Um, so of course, I was one of the the uh, first people to get blamed for it because I had a key, and if um, and, and someone else had a key... And you couldn't dob in your... And I was like, well, no, because I was just a lowly old private. Um, I wasn't going to dob in no sergeant above me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was a sergeant that was doing, doing it. Oh, yeah, they had the best pranks. I was just like, oh, no. And then, of course, when that guy, he had to be away for a couple of days so one of the other guys would come in and they would <laughs> do the watering and stuff but yeah I had to be somehow responsible because I had a key and someone else had a key so I was yeah. you know one of the first uh, in line we also had another guy that um, uh, he would go away for um, interstate periodically too um didn't know how to type didn't know where the letters were on his um, keyboard so we just used the old workout two or three of the letters from his name and would take them like pry open the keys and then swap them around with other letters <laughs> because he's one of those guys that would do the whole one finger thing and look you know where's that that finger goes going down on there's the s there's the a, oh, and press the buttons and then look up at the screen and and because he's have to put you know dobsy log in the computer he's putting his name and then he's putting his password in and He'd look, get these letters up there, but still wouldn't register that they didn't spell his, what his name would be. <laughs> then he'd press enter or click OK. Boom, <laughs> you know, incorrect password, incorrect name. What? And delete, 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 delete. Again. <laughs> Boom, incorrect. Then he'd just, he'd lose it. Absolutely <laughs> lose it. These fucking computers. <laughs> he'd go bananas. So, so that's a great, always a great prank to, to uh, play if uh, people can't type. I don't know, it's two, like two words an hour kind of typers. Yeah. Brilliant. Just blames, did he, so he just blames the computer. And he, oh, yeah, he work. would blame the computer. It would take him a good half an hour or more before he'd cotton on, and then it'd be, because everyone would start laughing, and it would be like, you bastards. Yeah, my dad's a bit like that. Well, we, we used to be when we first got the computer, because he's, um, yeah, he, he was on his little work website, and one day the website just went down, right, just before we had two, like, each of our, well, we each had a computer, sorry. Uh, and then he'd be looking up, he's like, what's this website? Well, you've been on this website and you fucked up my website. What is this? I'm like, that's Google, Dad. <laughs> like, and he's like, oh, Google fucked up. Google fucked up the uh, the Grey Unraced website. Google fucked it up. Google, and I'm like, yep, yep, you're right, Google. The world's I just searched and fucked up. Just one website out of all of them. They just went, nah, you know, Grey Unraced in Australia. They said, let's, let's, let's block that. Yep. Only that. Uh, and yeah, he just, just trying to those... explain to him. I'm like, yep, Bill, Bill Gates went, I'm making the internet. Just to get racing form. That's the only <laughs> point of the internet. What people are using it for porn. No, no, people no, they got the wrong idea. It's one of those little things that sends me on life tilt is my mum pronounces Google and I don't know why. She'll pronounce it Goggle. Like, oh, well, why don't you look it up on Goggle? And I'm like, what the fuck is Goggle? And then it, oh Google. I'm like, you're looking at Who's it. Who's Yahoo? Where's the <laughs> Where is the second G? There's two O's in there. It's Google. <laughs> How does she pronounce Ultra Vista? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yep, don't, don't want Ask Jeebus. <laughs> Sweet baby Jeebus. <laughs> Just bung. <laughs> what about yourself, Benny? Uh, what about your brother? You had that with your brother at least, or some sibling, sibling. We never one. really, never really pranked each other that much. We <laughs> used to just be like, Probably, you know, we used to fight a lot, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> yeah. it, it was funny in the backyard, uh, cricket got banned for life about seven times in the backyard. Cause we'd... <laughs> backyard cricket can cause a lot. That oh, can, yeah, can yeah, tear yeah. a family apart. Oh, sometimes. yeah, we, we would honestly punch on, especially <laughs> like... like LB... It's one hand, one bounce. Now nah, you fucker. No, nah, because we... Because yeah. I don't... 
in hindsight, it so sounds so fucking simple, but we didn't just, you know, usually you just go, oh, no LBWs. No, nah, we would have LBWs in the back. <laughs> well, that's controversial. Back <laughs> yeah, yeah. So LBW. Like, no, you're Tom. fucking out every time. And you, and he'd be like, did you no. have auto wiki? Yeah, we did have auto wiki. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, we had LBWs. And so every time they hit him on the leg, you'd, you'd just basically get into a punch up because. <laughs> <laughs> but you knew it was plum. He knew it wasn't plum. That's going yeah, outside yeah. leg. That's and, going down off. Yeah, and you clearly, because like, you know. Let's get the third umpire involved. Mum! <laughs> well, mum was the one that was banning us. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so mum used to work at night times. So as soon, and she'd leave for work at like seven o'clock or whatever. So mum would just ban us for life. And then like, you know, after a few days, as soon as mum left for work, we'd just go out and play cricket again. And then a mate would come over, and then it would, and then we'd all start playing, and then it'd be all good again. <laughs> so until but, someone got hit in the legs. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but yeah, no, I don't remember that many actual pranks. Except you know, for, you know, just like stupid shit, but nothing, nothing really elaborate. You know, the kind of pranks that I like are the ones that um, you know, you know, when someone says something and then it's taken out of then what taken they've said is taken out of context, like yeah. this here. Oh, I'm going to suck a dick. (laughs) (laughs) No way. No. Oh, Oh, wow, that's great. So, uh, what's that you like sucking dick, Todd? Is that (laughs) this? I can't see how that will ever come back to haunt me. Oh, I'm going to suck a dick. (laughs) So, I I think I found my ringtone. Oh, wow. (laughs) Just for those that don't know, Daryl and I rocked up like about an hour before Todd came here today and just, (laughs) just worked out how to get. That onto the it's not even Christmas. That's so free. we ripped that from the very first episode. Yeah. So yeah. So. <laughs> oh, I'm oh, a dick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That makes a legit question. <laughs> no, we're not doing that. Yeah, yeah. it's too. It's way too. No, early. no. I can tell you right podcast. now, it's twenty five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Just go down to Hanson Road. Oh hat. no, I meant me. Oh. <laughs> if you give me twenty five bucks, I'll let you suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> how toothy are you? <laughs> I'm, I'm not worried. Like, how toothy is he? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think, yeah, I might do it for 20. Yeah, uh, see, that, that's not like a reverse just, auction. This, pro- this probably isn't something I should bring up because I know my mum will probably listen to this, but I fainted getting a blowjob once. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so are you marrying this chick or what? Uh, no, I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna mention. I'm not gonna mention the name till after the podcast is off. Yeah. Um, but uh, no, this guy, I would have been 19 at the time, and this is said, don't let someone knock you off if they go to the dentist and get fillings the day before. <laughs> Oh, I just copped a little nick, just a little, just a little nick. And I'm like, oh, that's a bit, that's a bit. Out. Oh, so it wasn't so amazing that you fainted. No, I, I, was, I was like, oh, that, uh, anyway, I'm um, like, oh, it's a bit of a nick that hurts a bit. Anyway, anyway as uh, I'm trying to be as least, as as a small portion of it left the, uh, the 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 entry hole, I was putting it in. Um, I saw a little like it was like a little little tiny cut, literally tiny 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 bee's dick cut, and I saw one like B grade <laughs> squirt of blood just go. At the side of it, and I just went, <laughs> and I just fainted. I just faint, fainted mid, mid fellatio, just fainted, went split on the bang, hit the ground, and uh, so woke up on the couch, you... still stark. It was with a blanket over me and a, a couple of bits of like paper towel. And then, like, did, oh, look, did she finish? Um, it, it, the, uh, us as as a couple finished. <laughs> um, <laughs> but did you did you go home and just like rub it out afterwards, or was it like too painful to it? Uh, no, 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 I always have this. If it feels like a chore, don't do it. <laughs> and um, but <laughs> just work through the pain. <laughs> no, I don't deal well with pain. But it was. Yeah, yeah. I've never seen it. it right bled, it man, it it bled. It was get a, a tiny. Of, it get was a, a bit of blood lubricant going <laughs> in there. Oh, oh no. <laughs> See, I, I fainted having blowjob too, but mine was just from surprise that I was actually getting a blowjob. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this is awesome. Oh. Oh, this no, does uh, remind me, not... Benny, tell your mum get my socks back. <laughs> Call back, good. But uh, not my no, not my proudest moment. Um, but uh, it's 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 now it's on a podcast. So I can't do anything it's about there. it. It's in the I know right now I'm probably sitting out in the back of the patio myself right now, looking at my mum very awkwardly as she listens to this podcast. <laughs> oh. It's going, ah, oh, well, you know. She's picturing you with little bits of uh, tissue paper stuck all around your neck like you had a shaving accident. <laughs> 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 like Norman Gunston's cock. <laughs> 
Oh. I imagine. Um, it was, but it was, it was, it was literally one little squirt. That's all it was. And then I just, I don't know if there was more. Wait. Oh, I'm just sucking dick. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't yeah. know if there was more blood came out, but it was just like, it's like someone got a little super, little tiny super soaker and just went one push, just went. <laughs> and that's yeah. all it came out. And I just went, I was, I was like, that's, that's the. <laughs> I don't want to know any more about that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Moving right along. All right. So I think we're getting towards the end. So I think it might be time for our game. So Todd, I don't think you've heard this one before, but oh, most yeah, most people on. most people that have been on the internet a little while may have heard this, but you haven't, right? So this would be a good... I haven't good, been on Google very long. You haven't, <laughs> haven't, you're not a very uh, seasoned goggler. <laughs> um, all right. So you're in a room... Like a basketball court or something. That's that's a good size. Yeah, yeah. basketball basketball court. size room. Yep, basketball and size room. You right. can't get out, and there is a certain amount of five-year-old kids that want to attack and kill you. <laughs> Let's just say there's a thousand of them. There's a decent amount of kids the, in there. Eighty. Eighty seems like an. So, the, the you just Daryl, you just jump the gun a little bit there. Anyway, I'm just going to keep talking. So these people have had these kids have had a one fuck off <laughs> exactly uh, these kids have had one hour of training and they're determined to kill you so you can't like break their spirit now, what kind of training we're we talking like like are we talking martial arts training uh, are we talking just finger like paint training how how to take you down uh, and they're coming to fight you how many do you, of how many five year olds do you reckon you could take down before they overwhelm you because obviously like a thousand as daryl said they're like you're never going to take down a thousand if there was a thousand there they could just like yeah. overwhelm you and yeah too yeah but that's too the many. question like if there's the a lemmings. thousand of them coming at you how many do you think you could get because it's a rabbit no. horde well it's just the yeah the mini gun would be so easy yeah so <laughs> how, how how many five-year-olds do you reckon you could take down <laughs> uh oh that'd be oof. I, I've never really been in a fight, so I think I would, I would panic and fight extremely dirty. Yeah, no, but you're I would. I, I'm not gonna, I don't. I know they're five year olds, but I would. I would gouge eyes. So I you're would. allowed to gouge eyes, like, but if the if some you, of these wouldn't walk again, if I you, wouldn't be proud of it. If you gouge their eyes or like you know rip their nuts off or something, yeah, they're they're at a point where they're not going to lose motivation to fight you. So they're still oh, going to they keep coming. They're still oh, going to keep, keep coming. coming. They're still going to keep coming. So like zombies just aim for the head. I guess that's yeah. the best. That's the best. Good. Yeah. If five year old ever attacks you, aim for the head. That's a good one. Yeah. So, Same with newborns as well. So, <laughs> like, I think it has to be like 10. I reckon you can take down. I was going to, I'm going to go. With, oh, that's, a, that's, but that's like a, 20, no weapons. Obviously this is just no, no, we, no weapons. But so well, that... twenty, like if you said twenty five year olds, you could probably start taking on for a while. But as soon as like they, you know, have three of them yeah. hanging off your soon arm, you, yeah, as soon as they got then, your pen, you're, you're you're gone. You're gonna be in trouble. You're not sitting outside. Pink bellies and wet willies. See? You said no weapons. That's fine. Yeah. But there's no reason to say that you couldn't use one of the five-year-olds as a weapon. No, you can definitely use I a five-year-old as a weapon. Yeah. yeah. So I'd be so, picking one up by the by the legs and just swinging. Yeah, but as soon as like they're just gonna start biting, they can bite as well. They they, they fight so they they yeah. yeah. So there's a five-year-old like their mentality. Like, about five-year-olds where they realize like you know what you know what dad hates what like, being punched in the cock. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you they <clears throat> they're going to you said talk about eye gouging they're going to try and eye gouge and just yeah. punch in the dick and stuff they're yeah. five year olds how are they going to oh, they, because they're if, gouge if you they get you down they drag you down well, when they, when they, as, as soon as kids do as soon as you hit the ground you're fucked right yep like it doesn't matter how many because you know if you just have four sitting on your legs and a couple sit on your arms you're gone so it has to be the amount that you can fight off while standing correct and presumably you'd go to like a corner or something so mm-hmm. that or would you keep running around I don't know I, I, I tried to be mobile a little bit. I tried to yeah. take it, take down a couple, then you know go for a little run, take down a couple, go. See for a little if there run. was like, so if you said there was like fifty, then that's too many in the basketball size. Yeah, like you it, can't, it's not you a can't, lot of room to maneuver. Yeah, uh, I so, well, I reckon my answer. I reckon I don't. I don't think I'd get that many. I reckon anywhere between ooh, fifteen to twenty. I reckon yeah, I get about I, fifteen to twenty, and then that that they just they no nah, no nah, yeah they'd get me. They'd eventually get me. they're gonna wear you down as well. So you have to strike hard and strike early. Yeah. And but yeah, I don't know. It's I'm gonna get tough. Eighteen. There you go. I'm 18. gonna get eighteen. Eighteen five year olds. Would you? Would you? T- 
That's okay. <laughs> that was the name of my high school band, actually. <laughs> really? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. So, how would you take the over or the under on eighteen there, Daryl? I'd want to go over because I. <clears throat> excuse me. I'd like to think that um, I don't know, I've got a bit more fight in me. Got a bit more fight. Mm. I also like the, the idea of using distractions as well because I generally have some kind of lollies Jingly keys. on me. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're, they're, they're not so, going to accept lollies. They've been trained that oh, you might... Because, oh, hang on. That's like saying... Um, Yo, Gabba Gabba, DVD. You know, I, I move left. Oh, no, you're not allowed to move left. No, no, no. <laughs> I would normally carry some lollies on I me, just, so yeah, what's I'd run to the corner you know and just shout ba- uh, barleys. Throwing, I mean, throwing barleys. Them. I just said that there's no, there's no way that you can kill their determination. So whether that's like, you know, smashing one and ripping one in half with your bare hands or giving them a lolly. Mm. Well, I mean, by doing it either, they're still going to come and try and fight. Do it. these kids' parents come pick them up after you finish? <laughs> that's what I want to know. Well, hopefully you're long gone. You're either long dead or long gone. Yeah. <laughs> I can just imagine that too, you know, you've been pulled limb from limb and you're just, yeah. you're dead lying in a pool of your yeah. own blood and the parents come in going, Billy, why, oh, Johnny, what are you doing? Yeah. Come have, on, have get your yeah. <laughs> Billy, why is there blood over your shirt? Oh, oh I can't say, Mum. Where's gonna... your brother? He didn't make it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's never going to come out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a, where's Mr. Smith? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna uh, go eight. I'm gonna go eight ten. But I could like so I've never I've never been in a fight. I'm proud to say that. But I, I could be I could be the greatest untapped talent. I could <laughs> I could also like, I could also get my like gel and brush against my thigh and I could just fall to the floor. And you could also cry. get the piss beaten out of you by a, a five year old. <laughs> I mean, just one one five year old. <laughs> See if you did. If the five-year-olds had the surprise attack, then it would be a lot less, I reckon. Because like, if you were just walking down the street and some just random group of flash five-year-olds mob of five-year-olds <laughs> just come up and just like bam, straight in the nuts, <laughs> and then you're down for the count straight away. So if it was yeah, surprise attack, I don't think yeah, you're gonna so last can't very be a long surprise at all. attack. You might get, or if it was a surprise attack, you might be lucky to get say one lucky swing in, but I think yeah, you're done for. Yeah. Yep. Because like I said, yeah, just a headbutt. Doesn't it? In the red corner, Daryl Swanky. In the blue corner, 723 five-year-olds from St. Bridget's Primary <laughs> School. Weighing in. Yeah. Finish him. <laughs> Might be a weighing in at 450 pounds. So that, that would be mine. I'm going to go 810. And I, I, I think that's a pretty good number. That's, I'm going to go maximum 810 as well. Yeah. That's maximum. Yeah. yeah, I'd like to think that I could do more than that. But, you know, I'm just probably bragging. Because I might just... I might just... Yes. <laughs> Are you... I don't know what my opening attack would be. I don't know if I'd just, like, sprint and just cross body and go, I can get four or five of a cross body. And then just, just try like, to pounce. run like, with your arms out and just do punch like that. Yeah. Just, uh, bam. What's the time? How are we going for time? Do we have any oh, more time? Uh, no, I think it's about time. I think it's about time. by, huh? Yeah, I know. How good's this? We can do this too, look, live, live outro. Yeah, we got fancy this week. We got fancy this week. All right, Toddy, so where can you find yourself on Twitter? Well, myself on Twitter is at 49 Shades Pod. You'll and find yourself Todd John Gray, 49 Shades Pod, yeah. And uh, if, 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 if you're listening to this uh, in, in, in the past, you should have came to my stand-up gig. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so all of those... Hey, I wonder if that guy from Argentina is just going to fly in for your stand-up. <laughs> Surely. He's That'd a massive great. fan, front, obviously. Front row face painted, everything like that. <laughs> Somehow has a shirt with me on it. <laughs> <laughs> How weird would that be if some random Argentinian dude just rocks up with a shirt with your head on it? <laughs> yes. like, I'm your biggest fan. Man. I love your podcast. I've listened to every episode. So, oh, there's only been fucking one. And I've listened to it, like, <laughs> twice. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Argentina. Or Miss Argentina. What do you think? Miguel. I think his name would be Miguel. As well. What if it's a really hot Argentinian chick? Dibs. Uh, no, you can't cook. Why? Now you're making all the other guys dibs. <laughs> that would be pretty awesome. <laughs> probably oh. just trying to brush against her thigh and smell her hair a little. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I think we're gone. Music's turning up now. Beautiful. Well, thanks very much for listening, everyone. Have a good one. And uh, yeah, follow, subscribe, and keep laughing. Cheers. Yep. So there you go. Catch me, Swanky. At, sorry, at Swanky123. And I'm at Benny underscore Macca. So, all right. We, we're finally going to go. Out. We're out. Let's go. Right. Ciao. Bye. Bye. Right. My pony. This is he's better tune. doing the outro like this. Let's do it. Let's do it. From now on, yeah. we'll do it every day. Oh, I can't have lollies. You can't. <laughs> what? I can't use lollies for the strapless kids. No, you horrible. can't use lollies for the fucking strapless kids.
just what? said it's a squeaky toy. <laughs> oh, that's what you're throwing at the five-year-olds. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm out for sucking dick. <laughs> oh, we, we're going to have to come up with shit like that for the next episode. You know that, right? Yeah.